An electroscope is an early scientific instrument for uh, detecting the presence of charge and quantifying the amount of charge. Here I have an example of two electroscopes and let me describe the one on the right first. Okay, so what we have here is we have a metal conducting ball connected to a conducting rod that goes through this rubber insulating cork which is attached to this flask and at the bottom here are hanging two aluminum leaves. Okay, so let me pull it out so you can get a better look at it. Okay, so it, there's a continuous conduction from the, the top ball through the rod to these thin aluminum leaves. Now if we place a charge on the top ball here, we know that in steady state the electric fields will only be normal to the conducting surfaces and there are no lateral electric fields. So the charge will distribute throughout this conducting apparatus and the two aluminum leaves will repel. This electroscope is called a gold leaf electroscope and we have this conducting disc attached to this conducting rod and attached to the rod in the bottom here is a thin gold leaf and the it is insulated from this metal box around it uh, so that if you place a charge on this conducting disc in steady state that charge again will distribute between the disc the rod and the gold leaf and so the gold leaf here then will be repelled from the rigid rod and you can see that on this one there's sort of a scale so you can quantify how much charge by how much the gold leaf is going to bend. Now you may look at this one and say there's some charge on it because the gold leaf is bent but actually there's a little kink in my in my gold leaf and I don't want to try to straighten it because I would probably break the leaf and I don't have another gold leaf right now to attach to it. Okay, I'm going to take this piece of PVC and rub it with this piece of silk so as to transfer electrons from the silk to the PVC. And now we'll see as I bring it towards the electroscope, long before I'm getting close to the plate on the top, you can see a bending of the gold leaf. And this is due to an induced charge on that gold leaf. And in fact, if I move the rod away, it goes back to indicate no charge on the leaf, bring it close, charge on the leaf. And we'll talk about that in a little bit. But right now what I want to do is transfer charge from the PVC to the electroscope by just touching it like this. And so now we see that the isolated electroscope has a net charge on it, that charge being electrons, and the electrons on the gold leaf are causing it to be repelled from the electrons on the, uh, the rigid part of the, the lower part of this electroscope here. And so now what I can do is if I touch it and form a path to ground, I can take those uh, that charge off the electroscope. Let's explain this. Here's our PVC rod with the electrons on the outer edges. And here's the plate of our electroscope, the rigid part of the connection to the plate, and then the gold leaf which is flexible. So when we bring this negatively charged rod toward the top plate, the electrons in the rod are going to be repelled. And so that will leave behind positive charges. Now we know that electric flux density lines begin on positive charges and terminate on negative charges. So I'm just showing the electric flux density lines that are being uh, due to the induced positive charge on the on the plate here. There's obviously electric field lines coming into all these electrons here, but they're going off uh, and to some positive charge somewhere else. So the electrons that have been repelled are down here and that's what causes this electric leaf to move because it's getting repelled 
because of the electrons on the leaf and the electrons on this rigid rod. And of course, the electric field lines from the charges on the negative charges here are, say, assuming there's a, a, a ground plate somewhere below here, are going off to that grounded plate. And so as I move the rod in and out, that will change the amount of induced positive charge here and hence the amount of negative charge down here and the amount of bending that goes on. So now when I touch the rod to this plate, I actually transfer some electrons from the PVC rod to the plate so that when I remove the rod, I'm left with a net negative charge on this part of the electroscope. So now I've removed from the vicinity of the electroscope the charged PVC tube after I've touched it to the plate of the electroscope, transferring some electrons onto the electroscope. So now the electrons will all repel each other until they get a configuration where there's no more net movement of charge. We know when that occurs that the electric flux density lines will be normal to the conducting surface everywhere as I tried to draw it and that there will be a repulsion between the gold leaf and our rigid rod here. Okay, again I'm going to bring the uh, negatively charged PVC tube towards the electroscope and we see the deflection of the gold leaf when I bring it close. Now what's going to happen if I'm touching the electroscope as I bring the PVC tube in? Notice the gold leaf isn't moving. And that's because now I have a lower resistance path for those electrons that are being repelled back to ground. Okay, so if I remove my finger now, at this point there is a deficit of electrons on the electroscope. So it's positively charged, so I, when I remove the PVC tube, we see the, the residual net positive charge causing a deflection of the gold leaf. So with my finger on the electroscope, as I bring in the negatively charged PVC tube, what happens is the electrons that are repelled by the negative charge on the PVC tube leave through my hand and go to ground, leaving this net positive charge. So then I removed my finger, and we're left with an the electroscope now isolated from ground with a net positive charge. So now when I remove the uh, negatively charged PVC tube from the vicinity of the electroscope, this positive charge will redistribute and cause a deflection of the gold leaf. A similar situation is the following. I bring the PVC tube close, the negatively charged PVC tube, and so there's positive charge on the top plate and the electrons have been repelled and why the gold leaf is deflected. Now if I bring my finger in and touch the electroscope, I give a path for those electrons to ground. So now if I remove my finger, the electroscope will be positively charged so that when I remove the PVC tube, you can see the effect of that residual positive charge as a deflection of the gold leaf.